Imagine a world where every box showing up on your doorstep wasn't from Amazon, but instead, Sears. Well, that imaginary world wasn't so imaginary for previous generations. For almost 100 years, Sears was Amazon. You could buy everything from tools to clothes to entire houses through a Sears catalog. At one point, Sears was the biggest retailer in the world. And in 1969, their sales alone accounted for 1% of the entire US economy. But sadly, it didn't last forever. Over the next couple of decades, Walmart and other discount retailers started growing and giving people cheaper options outside of Sears. Then in the 1980s, the very thing that helped them achieve success started their downfall. They were losing $1 million a day on their print catalogs. Shipping out 1,500 page catalogs to millions and millions of people gets expensive. With very little innovation and investment back into the company during the 80s and 90s, they had fallen so far far behind, they ended up merging with Kmart in 2004. Billionaire hedge fund manager Eddie Lampert took over to right the ship. And in their first year combined, the stores did $55 billion in revenue, but every year after, sales became less and less. Sears started selling off many assets from their credit card company to the real estate holdings trying to stay afloat. Finally, in 2018, Sears holding filed for bankruptcy, leaving only about 20 stores left in operation today. Some are holding out hope that Sears can make the ultimate comeback, but only time will tell.